Hi folks, today we've got a Sofern IF25E to have a look at. Um, a 21700 light, which um, you might have heard me mention in previous videos. I'm, I haven't got too many of those, I'm not particularly familiar with them. But, you know, the first thing that struck me about this when I opened up the box is, cracky, that's small. Um, let's put it next to, say, an O-light there. That's a tiny little thing, isn't it? Um, it's very border, borderline acceptable for an EDC light. And we've got four SST20s tucked in there. And a maximum output of 3800 lumens. 3800 lumens off something that size. Um, I'm sure you can get them, but uh, not in the UK we can't. I'm, I'm not aware of anything. Uh, readily available in the UK at this size pumping out that type of power so let's go through and have a look at the at the rest of it um, it comes with a lanyard USB-C yes USB-C charging and a little adapter there that we can insert an 18650 uh, instead of the 21700 so that's a nice touch um, I've checked it with a variety of batteries. It's not particularly battery fussy and it does have the overcharge and over discharge protection built in as well. So you're safe to kind of put in whatever you want. Subject to being decent quality, of course. And there's your USB-C chucked in there. Um, the interface is pretty simple. We've got a one click on and a one click off. The default is ramping mode, and a double left click to turbo. I keep on saying double left click, don't you see? That's that's for working with computers. Double click into turbo mode. Uh, let's have a quick look at the manual, which is rather decent, though I'd have to say. I'm not going to go through it all. We'll be here too long. Um, pick out the important points. So our RPX racing is there at eight. Uh, it's drop resistant, tough on mineral glass and dimensions. Uh, advanced temperature temperature regulation. I'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, we've got a quick start guide there. Um, and we use the Android UI. Um, I mentioned this on the uh, Sofern SC31 about that. And there's all manner of things that you can have a mess about with. Um, I haven't really got time to go into all of this customizations available. We, we, we will be here a very long time. Um, but the one thing I will just show you is that if if you feel a bit daunted by those customizations, don't, don't be. Um, loosen the tail cap so we lose connection with the battery. If you hold the power button, turn the tail cap back on you'll see it makes this there we go and what it's just done is reset everything back um, to the Android default which is your ramping UI and exactly as it was when it came with the factory with one exception that I'd found and that was the temperature regulation so uh, on that subject um, this type of light, as in really small, um, with a moderate amount of heat sinking, four LEDs and 3800 lumens. Um, in the manual, it, find it, I'll find it in a moment. Let me pause, I'll find it. Yeah, sorry about that, there we go. Um, turbo is for short times only and after around a minute you may notice that the light dims down um, and it's set default at 45 on the thermal regulation um, I have gone in and had a mess about with that you can get this light to behave completely differently depending on how you change and mess about with that heat regulation um, I'll put it on the end of the video because to be honest I think you should probably leave it as it is um, 
the way it's come from the factory for me is set up perfectly adequately for what I want to use it for. Uh, and turbo modes to me are for um, short blasts of power. I, I really wouldn't want to be or, or expecting a light of this size to be holding a turbo mode of 3800 lumens for any ex extended period of time. Um, by default it's going to hold it for around a minute um, as it says in the manual and it doesn't get uncomfortable to handle or hold but I will put a little bit more on that at the end of the video if you're interested uh, but for now let's take it out and see what we can do got the AF25 now on its lowest mode if it'll focus there we go uh, and if I immediately start to ramp up Uh, to its highest ramping mode, not turbo. Uh, I'm not sure whether I mentioned when we were looking at it earlier on. You can change the bottom ramp and you can change the higher. And as we ramp up and down, I can stop and ramp back down the, the other way. I don't have to go all the way up and then all the way back down again. And if I twizzle the camera around to get us something a little bit closer, let me just correct that camera angle. There we are. We'll get something a little bit closer. Correct my ca camera angle again. I'm on a little bit of a slope. There we go. And open up the distance again. I mean, that's just amazing, isn't it, for such a tiny little light. And with the 21700, of course, you're going to get very respectable run times as well. Um, and it's not getting particularly warm, the uh, temperature regulation which are, it's set by default at 45 as I mentioned or will be mentioned at the end of this video. Uh, I buggered around with it and turned it up and I, uh, you'll see at the end there I wasn't really recommending that you um, particularly start messing about with the heat regulation simply because looking at this um, high mode, why would you need to? I mean, that's just phenomenal isn't it and um, if we do want a bit more then we can go for our turbo and completely blast into the distance and this is the one where it does get hot in the manual one minute uh, with its uh, default setting at 45 and just while I'm talking now I can feel it really starting to heat up so personally speaking um, yes you can walk about with the timings if you want but I really don't think there's any need, is there? Ramp all the way down, sorry, all the way down, back up again. You had another cracking light from Sophie, in my opinion, for such a tiny little thing. Uh, I'll carry on a bit and get a little bit more distance and come back. Quite a bit further on now, chaps with the, the IFA, quiet you. Uh, ramping back up to full for you again. Full ramp, not turbo. <laughs> and let me add a bit of distance and then start having a look over this lake. That's 100 metres there. Um, and then our turbo mode. 100 metres. You're not going to get much better than that, are you? Again, just, I'm absolutely amazed at. Uh, keep on saying it. Have I keep do we keep on saying it? I think I do. Um, how much power? It's such a tiny little thing. I think they're running at about. Forty pounds, something like that. If you fancy getting yourself one, uh, which for that kind of money, for this performance and specification, um, can't say enough about it. Really, can't fault it. Can't find anything wrong. It performs really, really well. So another nice light from Sofern. Catch you soon, folks. Quick temperature check. Start our timer, turn that on, and in.
turn to turbo. Oh, zoom in so we don't blind the living daylights out of us again. And see what happens. So we're at one minute. Temperature. Two around the button a bit less. Yes, that's warming up quite considerably. You certainly won't need a hand warmer with that. Uh, it's our temperature right now. Forty-five, fifty-five on the head. Three minutes. I think, to be honest, you'd probably be turning it down yourself about now. I mean, um, that's uh, you, you wouldn't want that in your hands without gloves. Um, so I think we'll we'll turn that off. To be honest with you, there we go. It's over three minutes, and that was uh, that was getting pretty hot. I've reset back to um, factory default now. 45 uh, I'll just show you the difference now so we got nearly three minutes didn't we or, or thereabouts with the uh, after mucking about with the thermal settings it's back down to its factory now at 45 so let's see what happens I think I was just messing around there, wasn't I? It had a minute as it started to um, back itself off and continuing to back itself off. Um, Temperature wise, 45. Yeah, and as you can see there, sort of just around the minute mark there, it's really starting to behave considerably different than what it was on the um, after I tinkered around with the thermal settings and to be honest that's a lot more comfortable to be holding and operating now to be, to be honest um, I don't think I would use that turbo mode I say beg your pardon turbo mode messing about with the temperature and then using the turbo mode 